I'm Kylo, and welcome to The Rundown, produced by the St. Chris Nevis Information Service, a weekly program where we recap the government's top news and events over this past week, that is, seven stories in seven minutes. The government, as well as the people of St. Chris Nevis, continue to celebrate the appointment of the Federation's first female Governor-General, in the person of Her Excellency Dame Marcella Leibard, GCMG JP. On Saturday, 4th February 2023, at Government House, Dame Marcella delivered her first speech in her new capacity, following her installation as the fifth Governor General of the Federation. Very sternly, Dame Marcella issued a call to nation building to all citizens and residents of the Federation, noting, Everybody can be great because anybody can serve. A quote taken from Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. The comments of our new Governor General fall in line with the mandate of the government as efforts of nation building continue. During a special interview last Friday, February the 3rd, Prime Minister the Honorable Dr. Terence Jew revealed that payments to persons registered on the Poverty Alleviation Program resumed that same day. The first wave of payments was made to households in two categories, specifically households headed by seniors as well as by persons with disabilities. Future payments to the additional categories of beneficiaries will be made later this month, with priority given to households with minors. In other news, Kevin Jeffers has been appointed as the head of the National Land Sales Agency, formerly known as a privatization and a commercialization unit. Jeffers shared his aim to introduce 21st century technological advancements within the agency, such as the introduction of a web application process, establishing a website for the agency, and implementing strategic marketing platforms to create national awareness. Jeffers shared his aim to introduce 21st century technological advancements within the agency, such as the introduction of a web application process, establishing a website for the agency, and implementing strategic marketing platforms to create national awareness. And now here is a public service announcement. Interested persons are encouraged to submit applications for master's programs offered by the International Maritime Law Institute. This opportunity is geared towards young and talented candidates under the age of 40 who have a strong motivation to work for their government and who, upon completion of their studies, will make a vital contribution to the development of the national legal framework and maritime sector. Interested persons are asked to submit their applications on or before March 15, 2023 to the International Maritime Law Institute Malta campus using the address below. The Ministry of Agriculture is taking a proactive approach to issues and concerns surrounding agricultural inputs and chemical shortages in the Federation. Speaking on the matter, Permanent Secretary within the Ministry, Miguel Fleming, stated that following discussions with local farmers, the Ministry is now able to select and identify the right pesticides and other inputs that are used on their farms to ensure that they are available for purchase. He used this opportunity to reiterate the government's commitment to farmers to ensure that farmers, fishers, and cooperative groups truly benefit as they work to transform the sector. If you haven't done it as yet, please do it today. Subscribe to our YouTube page at SKNIS Media for regular updates, live coverage, and even more information on your government. While you're at it, like, share, and interact with our Facebook and Instagram pages at SKNIS Media and SKNIS Info. The government, through the Ministry of Health, hosted the Federation's first ever National Non-Communicable Diseases Conference this week under the theme, Reviewing the Progress on the Prevention, Control, and the Management of Non-Communicable Diseases in St. Kitts and Nevis. Prime Minister, the Honorable Dr. Terence Jew, who leads the ministry, said the conference was a concrete step to addressing the rising incidences of NCDs in the Federation. During the three-day conference, participants reviewed and discussed the status of the NCD situation in the Federation and solicited comments from various stakeholders 
to reduce its impact. A new fresh start was how the Honorable Congress Maynard described the Criminal Records Rehabilitation of Offenders Amendment Bill 2023 that was introduced and read for the first time in Parliament on Wednesday, February 8th. He expressed that not only will this bill present a fresh start for persons convicted in the past for the use of cannabis, but it will also ensure that St. Kitts is not left behind. The Honorable Maynard also voiced his support for the establishment of a sustainable medicinal cannabis industry, noting that the government must not be afraid to explore the possibilities of the economic returns on responsibly investing in cannabis. And here is the pick of the week. 19-year-old Mario Knight was officially installed as the new Deputy Clerk of the House of Assembly. Mr. Knight began his duties at the sitting held this week, Wednesday, February the 8th. And now for the video of the week. Deputy Prime Minister and Minister of Education, the Honorable Dr. Jeffrey Hanley, rang in a school council's week by praising their dedication to schools across St. Kitts and Nevis. In a national address, the Honorable Hanley spoke to the fact that despite limited resources, the school councillors in the Federation continue to go above and beyond for students. For this, he stressed, they must be celebrated. Visit our social media pages for this and more. And now you're all caught up. Join us next week, same place, same time, for another recap as we continue to bridge a gap between your government and you.